known to reach decibel levels comparable to that of a jet engine. Century Link Field is the location for this NFC matchup between the 49ers and the Seahawks. Everyone excited about this matchup. Two teams that appear to be evenly matched. And you know, when you have two teams that are evenly matched, what you usually see is a great defensive battle. A lot of hard hits. I think that's exciting football. Percy Harvin gets the chance to return this kickoff. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. Russell Wilson has it under center. First and ten. The reception, easy, wide open. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. And off. Uh, it's Navarro Bowman in on the play. Well, when you're going to run the football, that's your objective. You cannot get frustrated by short runs. You know that it's going to build itself as the game goes along, so keep trying it. Offense lines up here. Second and nine. Screen pass. And they bring him down at the 33-yard line. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator. A little screen pass to the halfback. He knew the defensive line was going to be charging hard. They were, and it picked up some nice yards. Russell Wilson has it under center. First and ten. Toss to the outside. In on the stop. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. Second and four. To the ground here. Going to be a tackle for a loss. This is third down. Throws the pass. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. They deck him in the backfield. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Harvins, a receiver in the slot. Second and 12. Setting up a little screen. Makes the catch. Gain of seven. Well, that's a nice throw and catch by the quarterback and receiver. Puts them in good position where they have a chance to pick up this third down. This will be the eighth play of this drive here on third and five. Has it. Touchdown. And what a touchdown there for the offense. The quarterback just fires that football in there. Look at the defenders around the receiver, but the receiver big enough, tough enough to go up in there and make that catch. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. They 
have got him down there. First down, offense reading for the snap. Wide to the left, brought down at the 29. Boy, Frank Gore over the years has taken a lot of punishment from the running back position, the knee injuries, shoulder injuries, but he's still got the great speed and good lateral movement to get big yards. That'll stop the play right there. Tall, big, fast, and strong. And I'm talking about Colin Kaepernick. That's a nice run there. Good job. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. Always hard to guess what the injury is, but and don't like to speculate, but I think it's pretty apparent. It's an upper body injury. We'll let you know when we find out. Second and short, following the run. They feed it to him again. Well, it's about deceiving the defense, isn't it? That's how you get a lot done in the NFL. And when you can run and pass, you can deceive them in a lot of ways. Nice job by the offense, running that football, picking up another first down and moving the chain. They bring in the extra tight end. First down and 10. Trouble now. Cross up the football. Recovery by the offense. He's brought down. What a lucky break this time. They fumble, but they recover it and maintain possession. NFL teams, the offense, every single day they work with anybody that's going to handle the football. How to hold it. He didn't do a good job that time. That's why he fumbled. Ohio. Colin Kaepernick, under center. This is as ball is out, a recovery by the defense. The defense comes up with the big play, the hit and the recovery of the football. Uh, they sure did. They got so much speed on the defensive side, and that speed, when you think about it, it gets more people around the football. It helps you deliver the hit even harder, and that's why they got the turnover. Great job. The 49ers will come out in the dime. They give it to him on the counter. And a good gainer. Let's give him nine. When you have a defense as fast as this one, they over-pursue. So that's why you want to run a counter run. Take advantage of the fact that they are just charging too fast, too hard, and not thinking on the defensive side. Offense lines up here, and the second quarter is underway with this snap. That time, the pass is completed into double coverage, Jim, but the quarterback made a bad read, but these receivers, they are so good nowadays. That time, in double coverage, he went up and made the catch. It's like Bill Parcell said to me once about Mark Navarro, a very talented receiver. He goes, remember, Sims, when he's covered, he's open. Baldwin's lined up now as a slot receiver. First and ten. Throws to the right. And he's almost intercepted. When you see this cover two defense as a quarterback, you got to know where to throw the football. That time he did not make a good decision. you got to throw it sometimes deep down the middle. The safeties are not there. They're outside. He did not take advantage of that coverage that time. Second and ten. And he's intercepted. Good piece of tackle. What a terrible job by the quarterback. Uh, nobody's open. Tries to force the pass and look. What's it turn into? An interception. It's 
first down as they head to the line. And the give to Frank Gore. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. So many things you can do on first down. And what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. On the run. And he's thrown to the ground. The offensive coordinator's just got to make some adjustments here. They can't stop the defensive line from sacking the quarterback. So either keep the tight end in or keep the halfback in to help block for the QB. Defense comes to the line, ready to pounce on that quarterback one more time. Can they get another sack right here? It's third down and over 10 yards. You've got to give your offensive line a lot of credit. They give the quarterback extra time, and he makes the throw down the field to pick up the first down. First and 10. What a hit, and the ball is dropped. Second down, Gore's handed the football. That brings the play to an end. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. Third down on the way. And the drop back. Had it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. Well, it's so hard to do this nowadays to jar the football out of the hands of the receiver, but the defender did it that time. He hit him, that football came loose, incomplete pass. that left side makes the catch in open space that's a good play that time by the offensive coordinator fourth down try he makes the right call and they pick up the first down first down here after the completion on his way the 30 tackle at the 29 yard line what a nice throw and catch that time but here it just shows you why you want to have a lot of speed on the defensive side so when you make a mistake what do you do you make up for it by chasing the player down from behind and making the tackle and they sack the quarterback the name of the game is hit the guy with the football isn't it that's what it is the quarterback has it the defensive end what a nice play gets to him that time and gets the big hit In with that hit and the ball's going to fall incomplete. The defense has really done a good job here in this drive. They got this offense in a third and long situation. Let's see if they can convert it. This will be the 11th play of the drive. He's going deep. And it's incomplete. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Looking to go deep. The Seahawks turn the ball over on down. Well, you got to live with this decision now, big guy. You go for it on fourth and long, it fails. Probably going to give up some points because of a bad decision by you. Now on first down, he takes it on the counter, trying the right side. And he'll step out of bounds. What a job that time by the offensive line. That hole was so big, you could have drove a car through it. The running back hit it full speed, and that allowed him to get down the field and get that long run. They were able to move the chains after that last run. Russell Wilson out to Sydney Rice. Well, I guess the best thing to say there, Jim, is they completed the pass, but it still did not get a first down. 
That pass play picked up only four. Second down and six coming up. Russell Wilson connects with Golden Tate. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets the first down. They've got a first down now after that catch. Looks to his left. Almost intercepted that time. That's a nice route that time by the wide receiver. Running the corner route, and the quarterback just throws it too far and misses him. We're getting close to the two-minute warning. Time for one more play. Second and ten. What a hit, and the ball falls incomplete. That's why you like defenders who are good, punishing tacklers. Make those receivers worry about coming over the middle. They'll be careful the rest of this game because of that big hit. Two-minute warning looms, and this may be the last play before it hits. Wilson from the shotgun, challenging the defenders to the right side. He had it, but the hit jars the ball loose. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. Quarters formation here for the defense. Looking across the middle. Well, we'll be switching sides with this one. Ball's going the other way. Well, they don't get it on fourth down. That was, man, that was a quick drive, wasn't it, Jim? That was just bad play calling, bad execution, and go to the sideline. That's where you deserve to be. Ohio! Ohio. Frank Ohio. Gore is Ohio. in the backfield. Now first and ten. Scrambling out of the pocket. Tackles made. Second down coming up. Looking to scramble. He steps out. Number seven gets the score. Game of eight on the play. Colin Kaepernick under center, first and ten, working that left side. Brandon Browner with the interception. And he's brought to the ground. Right, well, I have to say that's just a terrible decision by the quarterback there. He's got to know when you're in a situation like this, you just cannot make that type of pass. to the line and it's first down looking to the right side and throwing and that pass is picked by Carlos Rogers he's got room that was an awesome job by the defense they just read the quarterback size they got in position and they made the interception The Seahawks sat at the line. Dime package. First and ten. Ball's going to be incomplete. The hit knocked the ball out. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Hard to tell exactly what the injury is, Jim, but I could just tell it's a lower part of the body. And, uh, you know, that, that was a tough hit. And I just I hope he's able to come back in the game later today. Touchdown! Well, here we are. It's a tie game now. We'll see how the teams react to it. Will it be positive or negative? The 49ers for the extra point. And the point after is good. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Seahawks team official. They're saying it's just a minor injury, so he should be back on the field pretty quickly. 49ers setting up for the kickoff.
Percy Harvin will be returning this one. And he's taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the 30. First down here. Green set up here, under fire on that throw. The Seahawks come out in a two tight end set. Almost intercepted. And that time the man-to-man -man coverage won. The quarterback had to make a perfect throw. He didn't. Incomplete pass. Sean Lynch is in the backfield. Third and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. When a quarterback can run, he usually takes one guy out of pass coverage. Look at the spy that time on the quarterback. That opens up the passing lanes. Good throw and catch. That reception gave them the first down. Wilson still got the football after the play fake. How did he drop that? These receivers in the NFL, they are so good now. Anytime you see a drop pass, it's almost always the one reason. They took their eyes off the football before it got there. Baldwin's in the slot. Second down and 10. Accepted. They pounce on him there. Linebackers nowadays are so talented. They can just do everything. Uh, they're strong enough to stop the run. But how about this interception? Good job. Good reading of the quarterback and a nice catch. First down here. Kaepernick from the gun. Gets away from the pressure. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Frank Gore is in the backfield. Here it's a second and ten. Gets away from the pressure. He's got a wide open alley. When you're on the defensive side, you just cannot lose containment even on a quarterback. That time they pressure him in the pocket. He takes out. There's no containment on the outside. He gets out there. Nobody open the floor to. So he just picks up some big yards running the ball. First and ten. Trying to make something happen. He steps out. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Leads us to second down. Kaepernick's going to take it from the gun. Escaping the pressure. He's got a little bit of daylight here. Steps out of bounds. Well, the defense put the pressure on the quarterback, but they didn't take advantage of it. He gets outside the pocket and takes off down the field and picks up a lot of yards. Man, nice job by the QB. Baldwin's lined up in the slot. First and ten. He'll fire it out to the left. Should have had it. It's really simple. Keep your eyes on the football. When they're not on it, that's when you drop it, and that's what happened that time. Frank Gore is in the backfield. Three-step drop. Throwing now to his left. Reaches out and snatches it. Touchdown, San Francisco. Well, when your offense goes out there and scores a touchdown to put you ahead, it's got to give a big lift to the defense. they got to get excited and go out there and hold that lead. The 49ers with an extra point try on the way. Driving extra point is good. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. 
Here's the kick, and this one's just a little squib kick. And tackled down at the 43-yard line. The Seahawks will look to get set. It's been a close game so far. The score's 14-7. to Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. First and 10. Left side. Here's the quick toss. He stacked up at that point. That's the end of the first half, and we'll be back in a moment with the first half analysis. We're back here now in this one, where the 49ers are leading by seven. Waves his arm, and he's going to make a fair catch. Double tight end formation as they go ground here. And that's going to be a new set of downs at the 34. Good job by the offense picking up a first down there. They've been terrific all day long. They're winning the football game, and they are tiring this defense out. First and 10. Getting away from the pressure. And he's going to be brought down. I know a lot of people are going to be surprised by this, but when you take those blindside hits, they don't hurt as much as you think because you had no idea it was coming, your body's loose, and you can absorb the hit. After being sacked on first down, it's second and 16. And kind of the shotgun. They're going to take off with it. He's going to be tackled right around the 31-yard line. The 49ers come out in a bunch set. Always aware of the chains. He's got the catch, and he's got the first. You just can't sit back there and play conservative defense in the NFL. The quarterbacks and receivers are too good. Third and over 10 yards, you play safe and you give up the first down. Escaping the pressure, throws to the right. Davis is there with the sure hands to pull in the rocket pass. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. He's scrambling now. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. The 49ers all bunched up here as they get set at the line. Second and 11. The give. That's a gain of seven. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Now third and four following the run. Breaks the plane, and it's a touchdown. Well, the NFL, no lead is ever safe. So when you got the lead, you push it on in there, score another touchdown, and keep putting the pressure on your opponent. And the extra point is good. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. Percy Harvin gets the chance to return this kickoff. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field, and... My guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. First and ten. Nickel formation for the defense here. They bring him to the turf. Russell Wilson has it under center. He'll fire it out to the left. Oh, almost caught. This is frustrating for a coach. You call a play, you get the receiver down the field on a quarter route, 
and your quarterback cannot put it on the target. Defense comes out in the nickel. Third and six. Going across the middle. Forces a three and out. You're near midfield. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position. Make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. Split backfield here. Halfway through the third quarter. This is going to set up a change of possession. Well, that's four plays and out for the offense, and that was bad. Bad play calling, bad play, bad execution. Go to the bench and try to rethink what you're doing. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Running away from the pressure. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Jim, that was really a, a terrific job by the quarterback. The pocket is breaking down, and look at that. He just steps up, moves out. Good job of keeping the play alive. Lined up in the pistol formation. Kaepernick's back in shotgun formation. In trouble now. Shakes off the hit. Nice tackle. And Crabtree is going to get set in the slot for this snap. Third and seven. Gore. And a run right up the middle. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. Good run that time. It results in a first down, and it moves those chains on the sideline. Keep those chains moving. Tire that defense out. He has the grab. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Second and one. The quarterback will hand it off. Picks up about eight. First down by the offense inside the red zone. Can the defense show them something different here and keep them from scoring a touchdown? Trying to work that left side. Got a hand on it, and it's incomplete. Uh, it's a nice play that time by the defense. The offense is inside your red zone. You've got to stop them from scoring. That was a good job of swatting the football away. Play number six coming up on this drive. Frank Gore gets it here. The tackle was made. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Offense lines up here. Third and goal from the fourth. Looking to the right side and throwing. San Francisco, touchdown. This offense, they are so aggressive. I love it, man. Even though they had the lead, they kept pressing the issue. And they got another touchdown to increase that lead. Extra point is good. <laughs> 49ers setting up for the kickoff. Percy Harvin will be returning this one. And it's the same as a touchback as he's tackled right at the 20. Russell Wilson has it under center. First and 10. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Out to the 23. I know you won't believe this, but sometimes complete the short pass like that does give a quarterback confidence, so it does serve a purpose. Stands in the pocket on the run. Number three. Split backfield here. Watch it. Watch it. 
So now a third and ten. Looking for an open receiver on the right. And he makes the catch just past the first down marker. You pick up first downs against the defense, they will get tired. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down, even though they're losing here in the game. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Scrambling out of the pocket. He's into the open. This is where games are won and lost. Once an offense gets down the red zone, even though they're down more than seven, can you find a way to punch it in there for the touchdown and not settle for a field goal? After the long game, let's see what they do here. Throws to the right. That ball was in his hands. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. We'll be back to the beautiful skyline of Seattle for the start of the fourth after the break. Russell Wilson has it under center. The final quarter begins with this snap. And it's incomplete. Just couldn't hold on to it after the hit. Good job by the offense getting in the red zone. Now you're down some points. you got to find a way to score a touchdown. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. The throw to the left. Scores the touchdown. What a tough throw and catch into a tight spot right there for the touchdown. But in today's game, these players are so good that you have to throw it in traffic. They've got to make the catch. That time he did. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. This kick will stay on the ground, avoiding a big return, bringing the play to an end. Two tight ends. First down and 10. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. I think the best thing to say about that play is just it, it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. And the give to Frank Gore. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. A terrible call that time by the coach. The defense was expecting run. They were up there. They were aggressive. Crowd the line of scrimmage. And you just, you just played right into their hands and they got the tackle for the loss. And Manningham's a receiver in the slot. Third down and eight. Antoine Bolden with the catch. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little... Um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. This play set up by the long gainer. Gore's got it on the handoff. In this defense, they are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front, and that time they stopped that run just for a short game. Second down now. Just a quick drop back. Brandon Crowder with the interception. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. Corners formation here for the defense. First and ten. Looking to scramble. Runs out of bounds. Russell Wilson is so quick, hard to get a good shot on him. Every time he runs the football, he knows to get to the ground just before the big hit comes. Russell Wilson has it under center. First and 10. Gets away from the pressure. Nowhere else to go, and he's out of bounds. 
Baldwin's lined up now as a slot receiver. Second and five. Eyeing that left side. And incompletion right there, but it really should have been an interception. And that was a battle for the football, Phil. That time, the defense won out incomplete. Yeah, nice job, Jim. That time by the defensive back just being aggressive and get and making sure the receiver could not make the catch. Wilson standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Gets away from the pressure. Challenging the defenders to the right side. That ball was going the other way. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, you deserve to throw an interception. And Manningham's in the slot. Now first and ten. They'll go ground. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. Looks to his left. That pass play picks up the first down. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. That was a nice curl route by the wide receiver. In the old days, they used to call that the button hook. First down on the way. Looking to the right side and throwing. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. I think the best thing to say about that play is just it, it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple of yards. A second and three. He's in the clear. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Boy, they got a good drive going here, Jim. I guess you don't hear that too much on the golf course, do you? The way you hit it everywhere, but... This offense, they're clicking, they're making plays. Let's see if they can take advantage of, of just moving this football down the field. Getting sacked. I'm just going to give the defense a lot of credit for all these sacks they've got here today. They take him down one more time. When you got this much talent on the defensive side, you're going to sack the quarterback. Second and 13. Getting sacked again. Beautiful timing that time by the safety. That's what it's about when you talk about blitzing. Space the field properly so the safety has a lane to run into and timing the snap of the ball. They did everything right that time. Good job of the safety getting that sack. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Fights through that hit. In zone bound, and he's got the touchdown. Well, Jim, it's almost impossible to guard these guys nowadays as they go down the field. These wide receivers, they have feet like ballerinas, and even though you get tight coverage, they're so quick, they can get open and make the catches. The 49ers now will tack on the extra point. He'll throw it over them. You talk about momentum. That turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. is a big time return there is nothing like a good return when you talk about special teams good blocking the speed of the returner gets down the field and after that tackle now they have good starting field position Baldwin's lined up in the slot here comes the wide receiver in motion working that left side Reed is there and makes the play there has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long he has not been sacked much and he throws it there and gets another completion. Tate's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Well, that was a nice job by the offense. It just puts him in a better position. Nice little throw and catch. Time enough to squeeze in one more play before the two-minute warning here in the fourth. Second and six. Throws to the right. That ball has been picked off. He's brought to 
Mahomes. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down, Gore. Going to lose yards here. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Colin Kaepernick under center. Second and 14. Wide open for the catch. Pushes aside one tackler. What a good job of the quarterback that time. He saw the defensive back inside the wide receiver, and he leads that wide receiver to the sideline on that corner route. Let's see how they back up the big play here. They're going to get him here for a sack. When you take a blind side hit like that, oh, my gosh, do they hurt. And you get up, you make sure you're okay, then you try to find out who's responsible for you getting you hit like that. Trying to make something happen. The pass fails to find the mark. The pass play fails to work. And now it's third down. Easy catch there. No one near him. When you have a quarterback to control the football like this guy, even though it's third and 10-plus yards, he makes a nice throw for the first down. Bolden's a receiver in the slot. Kaepernick's going back to the air on this play. The defense gets a sack. Oh, man, defensive coordinators love this. When you can hit, or this time, they sack the quarterback without even blitzing. After that sack, it's now second down and 17. He'll fire it out to the left. Pass is made, but the hit knocks the ball out. Incomplete. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football is arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. Kendall Hunter is in the backfield. Third and 17, challenging the defenders to the right side. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. That's a terrible job by the defense at the gym. I mean, you, you got third and over 10 yards. You don't get a pass rush. You don't cover them down the field, and you give up the first down. Escaping the pressure. They're going to get him this time. Oh, my gosh. When you take those blindside hits, the first thing you think of as a quarterback when you get up, did somebody make a mistake or did I make the mistake not seeing that guy coming? The long drive continues. Colin Kaepernick from the shotgun. That pass was hurried. This long drive continues. They'll go shotgun here. Getting away from the pressure. He had no time to get set. That time, awesome job by avoiding the sack by the quarterback. Gets out of trouble, gets outside. Hey, even though he doesn't get a completion, good job avoiding the negative yards.
wide receivers are bunched up. Kaepernick's got it in the gun. Throwing now to his left. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. Well, I'll give the defense some credit here. They stopped them on fourth and long. Well, they should. Take that back. I'm not giving them any credit. I'm giving the blame to the offense. Bad decision. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Looking to the right side and throwing. On the money. The Seahawks with no timeouts left. Uh, there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, the double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up and make the catch. The Seahawks getting set to attempt the field goal. It's not. It's a fake. They're gonna take off with it. Lynch is there to catch the ball. The ball is out. And he's out of bounds. That's it. This game is over. Well, Phil, I enjoyed watching the game with you. And how about a final thought about that victory? Well, you know.